Nigeria National Football Team, Wikipedia article audio. The Nigeria National Football Team represents Nigeria in international association football and is controlled by the Nigeria Football Federation. They are three-time Africa Cup of Nations winners, with their last title in 2013, after defeating Burkina Faso in the final. History Team image and culture Nickname Rivalries Media coverage Supporters Kits evolution Home stadium Super Eagles match venues FIFA World Cup record 1994 World Cup 1998 World Cup 2002 and 2006 World Cups 2010 World Cup 2014 World Cup 2018 World Cup World Cup record Africa Cup of Nations record 1963-1978 1980 1990-1992-2006-2008-2017-2019 Nations Cup African Nations Championship Record FIFA Confederations Cup Team Honours and Achievements In April 1994 the Super Eagles was ranked fifth in the FIFA World Rankings, the highest FIFA ranking position ever achieved by an African football team. Throughout history, the team has qualified for six of the last seven FIFA World Cups, missing only the 2006 FIFA World Cup hosted in Germany, and have reached the round of 16 three times. They were the only African team to qualify for both the 2014 and 2018 tournaments. Their first World Cup appearance was the 1994 edition hosted by the United States. Recent Results 2017 After playing other colonies in unofficial games since the 1930s, Nigeria played its first official game in October 1949, while still a British colony. The team played warm-up games in England against various amateur teams including Bromley, Dulwich Hamlet, Bishop Auckland, and South Liverpool. The team's first major success was a gold medal in the second All-Africa Games with third-place finishes in the 1976 and 1978 African Cup of Nations to follow. In 1980, with players such as Segun Adigbami and Best Ogdegbi, the team, led by Christian Chukwu, won the cup for the first time in Lagos. Nigeria Olympic men's football team won the football event at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, beating Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina in the process. They were runners-up in the same event at 2008 Olympics in Beijing, losing to Argentina in a rematch of the 1996 event. 2018 2019 In 1984 and 1988, Nigeria reached the Cup of Nations final losing both times to Cameroon. Three of the five African titles won by Cameroon have been won by defeating Nigeria. Missing out to Cameroon on many occasions has created an intense rivalry between both nations. Two notable occasions, narrowly losing out on qualification for the 1990 World Cup and then the controversial final of the 2000 African Cup of Nations where a kick taken by Victor Ikba during the penalty shootout was adjudged not to have crossed the goal line by the referee. Nigeria's national team image has undergone much evolution throughout its history. 
Prior to independence, they were called the Red Devils due to their red-topped kits. The name was changed to the Green Eagles after independence in reference to the Nigerian state flag as well as the eagle which adorns the country's coat of arms. During the 1988 Africa Cup of Nations, they were still called the Green Eagles, but following their controversial loss in the final, the team's name was changed to the Super Eagles. Today, only the senior men's national team uses the nickname. The women's national team is called the Super Falcons, and Nigeria's underage male teams are nicknamed the Flying Eagles and the Golden Eaglets. Many important matches have been played against various nations who have been occasional rivals. Of these nations, Ghana is widely considered Nigeria's primary rival as the two sides have met one another more than any other opponent. The record is dominated by Ghana although Nigeria has enjoyed periods of success. The most notable of these periods are the early contests during the 1950s, and matches that took place in the early 2000s. FIFA lists the first official match between the two as a World Cup qualifier match in 1960. However both national teams had already engaged in competitive matches dating back to 1950. The national teams of these two West African countries were formed during the time in which both remained protectorates of the British Empire. At that time the modern-day nation of Ghana was known as the Gold Coast. Nigeria, prior to adopting the national colors of green and white, wore scarlet tops over white shorts and were known as the Red Devils. The two sides played for several rivalry and tournament cups during this period in which full international competition was barred to them. Nigeria's neighbours to the east, Cameroon, have also played Nigeria a number of times over the years. The teams have met three times in the African Cup of Nations final with Cameroon winning each time. Both carry histories of continental success and World Cup representation that is nearly unrivaled on the African continent. There is also a number of competitive matches with Algeria dating back to the 1970s. The two sides met twice in the African Cup of Nations finals with each nation splitting the win totals. It was a 1-1 draw in Algeria on October 8, 1993 that enabled Nigeria to claim its first World Cup berth in the 1994 edition of the tournament. Nigeria's western neighbour, Benin, has played competitive matches with the team since the period of European colonisation when they were known as Dahomey. But with only two wins and two draws to Benin's credit against Nigeria's 14 wins, and with the sides having only met six times since 1980, Benin remains a lightly regarded opponent. In four of its first five World Cup appearances, Nigeria was drawn in the group stage with two-time champion Argentina and is regarded by many fans as having acquitted themselves well against the footballing giant. All four matches have been won by Argentina, but all ended in one goal margin and have been tightly contested. To date Nigeria has recorded two wins against Argentina's five, with the victories occurring during friendly matches. Nigeria came close to defeating Argentina in their first meeting, during which they held a lead for some minutes of the match. This was followed by a Confederations Cup match which saw Nigeria hold the side to a 0-0 draw. The matchup holds some importance to many Nigerian football fans who regard the challenge as an important measuring stick for the development of Nigerian football. However it means less to Argentinian fans, having taken less interest with each passing cycle that Nigeria failed to engineer a meaningful competitive victory. The Nigerian Football Federation currently has an active deal with the parent company of 8 and Ray Power Radio. Internationally, 
Nigeria's qualifiers and African Cup matches are regularly broadcast abroad by the multi-platform International Sports Network, Bain Sports, and South African broadcaster Supersport. Nigeria's international friendlies are regularly scheduled in the UK through independent organisers and are marketed to the country's large population of Nigerian expatriates. The Nigerian Football Supporters Club is the primary supporters club for the Nigerian football team. Though the club is most notable at Nigeria's home matches wearing green-themed embroidered outfits specific to the club along with wigs, hats, and large sunglasses while dancing, singing, playing drums and trumpets, as well as carrying pom-poms, culturally significant objects, inflatable beach balls, and waving flags, they have also shown a presence traveling abroad to support Nigeria in away matches. However, the club's efforts at improving the atmosphere at Nigeria's home and away matches are beset by funding issues, corruption, and infighting. The club's current head, Dr. Raphael Ladapo, has drawn criticism from its membership and is under pressure to defer the leadership to one of his deputies. A regular site at Nigerian home matches is also their brass and percussion band whose rendition of well-known high-life songs provides Nigerian home matches with a unique feel. In Nigeria, these performers are occasionally conspicuous with their military uniforms or they may be members of the football supporters club. A popular chant among supporters from all over the country, after a goal scored, is Ashibaba, which means thank you father. In Yoruba. The Nigeria national team has traditionally utilized a mostly solid green-on-green -green primary set with white numbering, lettering, and highlights, coupled with all-white reversed secondary kits, all emblematic of the colors of the Nigerian flag. The shade of green has varied over the years. An olive drab tinged, forest green was frequently favored during the 1980s to the early 1990s and jade has appeared in each of those decades as well, even harlequin has been utilized. Over the last decade, the team has appeared to settle on the more standard office green which most closely resembles the shade used on the flag. Nigeria's first national teams used a solid scarlet top over white shorts and socks until the country adopted its current colors after its independence. On April 23, 2015, Nike was announced to be the current supplier of Nigeria's kits after Adidas ended their kit contract with the Nigeria Football Federation. Before that, Nike supplied Nigeria's kit between 1998 and 2003. The Abuja National Stadium serves as the official home stadium of the Super Eagles. Several international matches are played in other stadiums across the country. However, since the construction of God's Will Okpabio International Stadium in Uyo, Akwaibam State, most of the Super Eagles' important home matches have been played there. Nigeria finally reached the World Cup for the first time in 1994 after years of struggling to get there. They were managed by Clemens Westerhoff. Nigeria topped their group which included Argentina, Bulgaria, and Greece. Nigeria defeated Bulgaria 3-0, lost to Argentina 1-2, and reached the second round after a 2-0 victory over Greece. In the second round Nigeria played Italy and took the lead with a goal from Emmanuel Amunich at 25 minutes. Nigeria were within two minutes of qualifying for the quarter-finals, but Roberto Baggio scored to take the game to extra time. He also scored the eventual winning goal. The game ended 2-1 in favor of the Italians. In 1998, Nigeria returned to the World Cup alongside Cameroon, Morocco, Tunisia, and South Africa.
Optimism was high due to its manager Bora Milutinovic and the return of most 1994 squad members. In the final tournament Nigeria were drawn into Group D with Spain, Bulgaria, Paraguay. Nigeria scored a major upset by defeating Spain 3-2 after coming back twice from being 1-0 and 2-1 down. The Eagles qualified for the second round with a win against Bulgaria and a loss to Paraguay. The team's hopes of surpassing its 1994 performance was shattered after a 1-4 loss to Denmark. The 2002 World Cup in South Korea and Japan saw Nigeria again qualify with optimism. With a new squad and distinctive pastel green kits, the Super Eagles were expected to build on its strong performances in the 2000 and 2002 African Cup of Nations. Nigeria were drawn into Group F with powerhouses Sweden, Argentina and England. The first game against Argentina started with a strong defence that kept the first half scoreless. In the 61st minute, Gabriel Batistuta breached the Nigerian defence to put Argentina in the lead 1-0, and Argentina would go on to win the game. Nigeria's second game against Sweden saw them take the lead but later lose 2-1. Nigeria then drew 0-0 with England and bowed out in the first round. Nigeria failed to qualify for the 2006 World Cup after finishing level on points in the qualification group with Angola, but having an inferior record in the matches between the sides. On November 14, 2009, Nigeria qualified for the 2010 World Cup after defeating Kenya by 3-2 in Nairobi. Nigeria lost its opening match against Argentina 1-0 at Ellis Park Stadium following a controversial Gabriel Heinz a header in the sixth minute. In its second game Nigeria led early on by a goal from Kaluush. A red card against Sani Kaida gave Greece the advantage. Greece scored the equaliser late in the first half and Nigeria conceded the second goal in the second half and lost the game 2-1. In their last group stage match against South Korea, Nigeria took an early lead in the 12th minute off of a great finish by Kaluush after a low cross from Chidi Odia. However, goals from Lee Young soo and Park Chu Young gave South Korea a 2-1 lead which looked to be enough for South Korea to advance into the round of 16. However, Nigeria got a chance in the 66th minute that the Super Eagles will probably never forget. On the end of a pass from Ayala Yusuf that was fed through the South Korean defence was none other than Yakubu A. Igbini, once the pass found Yakubu's foot about four yards away from the empty goal. Yakubu pushed the ball wide of the left post to keep South Korea ahead 2-1. Three minutes later, Yakubu was able to calmly finish a penalty to knot the score at two apiece, but the damage was done as Nigeria was unable to score again and the match ended in a 2-2 draw. With this result, Nigeria was eliminated from the 2010 World Cup with just one point while South Korea advanced into the round of 16, with four points. On June 30, 2010, following the team's early exit and poor showing, the then president of Nigeria, Good Luck Jonathan suspended the national football team from international competition for two years. This suspension put the team at risk of being banned from international football by FIFA for reasons of political interference. On July 5, 2010, the Nigerian government rescinded its ban of the national football team from FIFA-CAF football competitions, but the sanction of suspension was applied by FIFA some three months after. On October 4, 2010, Nigeria was indefinitely banned from international football due to government interference following the 2010 World Cup. Four days later, however, 
the ban was provisionally lifted until October 26, the day after the officially unrecognized National Association of Nigerian Footballers dropped its court case against the NFF. Nigeria's campaign in the 2014 FIFA World Cup opened with a disappointing 0-0 draw against Iran. Four days later the team played their second game against Bosnia and Herzegovina. A 29th-minute Emmanuel Emenik's controversial goal gave Nigeria their first World Cup win since 1998. They faced Argentina some days later. A third-minute Lionel Messi goal for the opposition was followed almost instantly with an equaliser by Ahmed Musa. Messi gave Argentina the lead back just before half-time. In the second half Musa leveled the game out again, Lionel Messi was substituted and handed over his captaincy to Marcos Rojo only for Rojo to put Argentina 3-2 ahead minutes later. Nigeria lost the match but still qualified for the round of 16. In the round of 16 Nigeria faced France, an 18th-minute stabbed shot from Emmanuel Emenich saw the ball in the net, passed the French goalkeeper but the goal was ruled offside by the linesman. Nigeria held them off until the 79th minute when a cross and a Paul Pogba header gifted France the lead. An accidental own goal by Super Eagles captain Joseph Yobo in injury time put the result beyond any doubt, Nigeria was out. This is the third time Nigeria is eliminated in the round of 16 and they were not still able to enter the quarter-finals in the FIFA World Cup. On June 24, 2016, the Confederation of African Football released the draw for the third round of the World Cup qualifiers which saw Nigeria grouped in what was described as a group of death, alongside Zambia, Algeria, and Cameroon. Nigeria started her group stage matches with a 2-1 win over Zambia in Ndola and defeated Algeria 3-1 in their second match at the God's Will Okpabio International Stadium they went on to beat Cameroon 5-1 home and away in a back-to-back -back contest. The Super Eagles of Nigeria became the first African team to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup after beating Zambia 1-0 in Uyo. Nigeria first appeared in the Africa Cup of Nations in 1963, they were drawn in a group with Sudan, and the then United Arab Republic they did not advance to the next stage. The team withdrew from two African Cup of Nations between 1963 and 1974, due to political instability. In 1976, they came back to the Cup of Nations with third-place finishes in both the 1976 and 1978 Africa Cup of Nations. Nigeria hosted the 1980 Africa Cup of Nations and also won their first Cup of Nations title that year in Lagos. Nigeria came out as runners-up three times and had one group stage elimination, between 1982 and 1990. They also failed to qualify for the 1986 Africa Cup of Nations hosted by Egypt. Nigeria appeared again in the African Cup of Nations in 1992 and 1994, they finished third in 1992 and won the 1994 Africa Cup of Nations, which was the second time they won the tournament. In 1996 the team withdrew from the tournament due to the political tensions in the country as at that time. They were also banned from entering the 1998 African Cup of Nations. In 2000 they returned to the Cup of Nations and were the runner-up. They later finished in third place at the 2002, 2004 and 2006 Africa Cup of Nations. In the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations, Nigeria ended their campaign in the quarter-finals after losing to Ghana. They qualified for 2010 Africa Cup of Nations, hosted by Angola, 
but were eliminated by Ghana in the semi-finals. They failed to qualify for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations after ending the qualifiers with a 2-2 draw against Guinea with goals from Ika Chikwuyush and Victor Obina. Nigeria came back in the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations hosted in South Africa, after playing through the tournament with an unbeaten run, they defeated Burkina Faso in the finals to lift the cup for the third time. However, they did not qualify for either of the next two tournaments. Afro-Asian Cup of Nations, Winners, 1995 Personnel Current squad Recent call UPS Previous squads All-time player records Most kept players Top goal scorers Managers All Africa Games, Gold Medal, 1973, Silver Medal, 1978 CSSA Nations Cup, 3rd place, 1987 WAFU Unity Cup, Runners-Up, 2005 1994 FIFA World Cup Squads, 1998 FIFA World Cup Squads, 2002 FIFA World Cup Squads, 2010 FIFA World Cup Squads, 2014 FIFA World Cup Squads. On January 13, 2017, the Confederation of African Football released the draw for the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations qualification. The Super Eagles were grouped in Group E alongside South Africa, Seychelles, and Libya. Despite failing to qualify for both the 2015 and 2017 Africa Cup of Nations they still are seen as the favourite team to qualify from the group. Nigeria have qualified for two of the last three African Nations Championship. Their first appearance in the tournament was in 2014 when they lost to Ghana in the semi-finals and later beat Zimbabwe 1-0 to take third place in the tournament. Nigeria qualified for the 2016 African Nations Championship but were eliminated in the group stage. They qualified again for the 2018 edition of the championship to be hosted in Morocco after beating Benin Republic 2-0 at the Sani Abacha Stadium, Kano. Nigeria first appeared in the FIFA Confederations Cup in 1995, after they won the 1994 Cup of Nations which was their second African Cup of Nations title. Despite having been absent for years, they returned to the competition in 2013 as the team to represent Africa after their successful run in the 2013 Cup of Nations and they were placed in Group B where they lost to both Spain and Uruguay in the last two group stage matches after beating Tahiti 6-1 in their first match. They lost out of qualification to the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup after failing to qualify for the 2017 Cup of Nations. Intercontinental Continental Subcontinental Other WND Raw LOSS Asterisk Corsica is not a FIFA member. Game is not an official match and statistics do not count towards FIFA ranking, asterisk 2017 international fixture dates, African Nations Championship and WAFU Nations Cup tournament matches take place outside of the official FIFA international competition dates and are contested primarily between domestic-based players for each nation. National team players based abroad are not required to be released for these competitions. Matches played do count towards FIFA ranking but are officially calculated as friendly matches. Asterisk 2018 International Fixture Dates, 
African Nations Championship and WAFU Nations Cup tournament matches take place outside of the official FIFA international competition dates and are contested primarily between domestic-based players for each nation. National team players based abroad are not required to be released for these competitions. Matches played do count towards FIFA ranking but are officially calculated as friendly matches. The Nigerian Super Eagles managerial staff is made up of a technical advisor who serves as the coach in charge of full international matches and a chief coach who serves as the first assistant coach in charge of the home-based Super Eagles as well as the Chan tournament and other home-based competitions. Other positions also include the technical assistants and the goalkeeper trainer. Jernot Rohr is the Super Eagles technical advisor. He has held this position since 2016. The following players were named to the squad for the March 2018 friendlies against Poland and Serbia, caps and goals current as of February 4, 2018 after the match against Morocco. All caps slash goals against FIFA members only. The following players have also been called up to the Nigeria squad within the last 12 months. INJ withdrew because of an injury, pre-preliminary squad. World Cup Source 1957, Egypt, 1959, United Arab Republic, 1962, Ethiopia 1963, Ghana, 1965, Ghana, 1968, Congo Kinshasa, 1970, Sudan, 1972, Congo, 1974, Zaire, 1976, Morocco, 1978, Ghana, 1980, Nigeria, 1982, Ghana, 1984, Cameroon, 1986, Egypt, 1988, Cameroon, 1990, Algeria, 1992, Ivory Coast, 1994, Nigeria, 1996, South Africa, 1998, Egypt. 2000, Cameroon, 2002, Cameroon, 2004, Tunisia, 2006, Egypt, 2008, Egypt, 2010, Egypt, 2012, Zambia. 2013, Nigeria, 2015, Ivory Coast, 2017, Cameroon